again. Hello Tomahawk fans, I'm Mark Krasak with uh, the Johnstown Tomahawk video production. Um, Tomahawks just finished a two game sweep of the Maryland, or Maine Nordiques, sorry about that. Um, they won tonight's game five to two. I'm joined with number 18, Brendan Blair, and number 30, David Tomeo. Uh, David, you won the game tonight in the net. Um, How did you feel the game went? Uh, it was a good game. Uh, I would have liked to have had those two in the beginning back, but at the end of the day, I think I just took a deep breath and I think the guys bailed me out. Uh, we got a ton of goals and I got a lot of support from my teammates, as I usually do. Uh, I'm very thankful for those guys and, and they bailed me out and gave me a lot of confidence, as I usually do, and that's kind of how the game went. We scored seven unanswered and won the game. Awesome. And, and, and Brendan, you're, you're uh, one of the defensemen. You had a pretty big offense tonight. tonight. Um, a goal and maybe two assists, we're not sure, but at least one and a goal to one. Um, you know, what do you attribute that to tonight? Uh, you know, I think sometimes points to defensemen are kind of fluky. Uh, some nights are good nights, some nights are bad nights. Um, you know, yesterday during our game, I had quite a few good shots on net. Um, so, you know, I think that kind of just rolled over tonight, got pucks to the net. You know, they just went in today and got rebounds that other people could talk home. So, I think it just kind of bounced my way tonight. Okay, this is kind of a question for both you guys you can answer. Um, you guys really finished 2019 strong. You know, we're heading into the new year, 2020. Um, kind of into the grind of the season for you guys. You know, what do you guys need to do? Keep doing right to keep keep going the way you have been. Uh, I say just stay mentally focused, stay dialed in, take it one weekend at a time, one game at a time, and just keep doing what we're doing. Keep working hard, take care of your body, get rest, and, and just go into every weekend knowing that there's a big goal ahead and there's a lot to play for. Yeah, I mean, I think Coach Mike kind of says it best. Like, when we don't cheat the game, we play really, really well. Um, and you kind of saw that tonight. When we stopped cheating the game at the beginning of the game, we turned around a two-goal deficit and put up seven. Um, so, you know, I think that's kind of what our goal will be the rest of the year. Um, and definitely just realizing that, you know, beating a team like the Main Nordique 7-2, um, it's great, but that's not what our end goal is. we got to continue to put those wins on the board so that we can be ready for playoffs and eventually the Robinson Cup. Now, you know, getting back to games, tonight's game, tonight's game was kind of a little bit of everything. You know, we got behind early and then they had a, a shorthanded goal, a penalty shot goal, a um, couple fights. You know, what did you guys think of the, the emotion in front of the crowd tonight? Um, I definitely thought it was fun. You know, uh, the crowd really got into those fights, uh, you know, as they typically do, but that was great. Uh, you know, I think really just the crowd response when we kind of lost that lead and, you know, they didn't really give up on it. They stayed loud when we were down 2 nothing, and, you know, that kind of helped us climb right back into it right away. And David, you kind of add to the antics of all that, you know, I think that's kind of part of your game, playing to the crowd and, and getting them going, and you definitely fed off that, off that tonight, and, you know, how's that, like, make you feel, make you play better whenever the crowd's into it and oh. kind of gets into it with you. Yeah, I'm a big football fan and you always see the Seattle Seahawks say their fans are the 12th man. And when you play in a building like this, you have a lot of fans that are really loud and they love to cheer and you love to give them reasons to cheer. So when they're cheering, it fires me up and it just makes me want to keep going and, and make big saves and let the other team know I'm, I'm where I am and that they're not going to get an easy time scoring on me. Um, so it, this was our New Year's Eve game. It's a, Tomorrow's the new year. Um, do you guys have any team or personal resolutions you guys make? Or uh, I think our team resolution is to sweep more, and I, I think there's some unfinished business from last year that this team would like to take care of. So I think that's a resolution. Um, and, and personal resolution is just to keep having fun. I, I think that's all you can do and keep enjoying the game. Yeah, I mean, I think personally it's just about, you know, as a 99, it's your last year of juniors. Um, you know, last 20 or so games before playoffs, you know, and then after that, every game could be your last game. Um, you know, so I think it's just all about coming out, having as much fun as you can with the guys, and just working hard and winning games. Um, you know, I've been pretty fortunate since I've gotten here that um, the points have kind of come a little bit more for me than they did when I was in Amarillo, and, you know, I, I appreciate that. It's going really well as far as that goes, but, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to continuing to put W's up on the board. All right, well, thank you guys both for joining me tonight, and uh, we'll see you all next uh, after the next home game. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.